hello 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 so um, let's just do how to add a deformer inside Modo and inside Max. I'm going to use 601 um, but it works the same in 701 it's just uh, um, in Vista my right hand click menus do not show up in the video they do show up in the viewport but I think the OpenGL doesn't want to be recorded by Camtasia for some reason so we're in 601 moving on doesn't really matter so um, we have a box in here with a uh, which is subdued, press the tab key to subdue it or press the tab key to unsubdue it and subdue it again, there we go so I've got a little mesh, we need to group it so hold down control and press G to group it so it's now in a group let's uh, select the mesh again and we'll uh, right hand click and we will add a deformer and the type of effect we're going to add is a vortex effector because in that we've got um, we've got uh, twist and tapering and spiral and spiral radius and whatever so we can do a couple of things in there so when we add that in it sort of makes a little gizmo about the same size as the actual object which is quite nice and it's quite quite visually appealing um, the only problem we've got at the moment is if I select my group which is this and if I hit uh, move and I move my group you'll notice that the, the vortex uh, is not moving with it which you may want to do, you may want to push your model through this um, uh, deformer to give it different um, different results but you mainly think oh, I would want to go, I want this uh, deformer to move along with my object so I can have like a pillar that like um, gets twisted and bends over or tapers or whatever and then I can animate that pillar or whatever it's going to be like a gate post or something wherever I want um, so I want this to go with it. So let's let's sort that out. Stop waffling, Stephen, and get on with it. Right. So um, vortex effect is currently outside the group. Uh, I found the easiest way to do this. If you try and group things and parent things, it sort of screams and kicks at you. So the easiest way of doing that is you you get your vortex effector, click and drag, hold it, and if you go in above the mesh and below your group locator folder so where it's currently highlighted in sort of like an orange colour and then this is just left and mouse click then just let go that is now within that group and it's in the right place now so if I get my group locator and I move this around now the vortex deformer or whichever deformer you're using goes with it right so all cool and groovy with that let's go and animate this so um, auto key is here and apparently it's doing uh, it's not off, it's animated, it's everything, we're going to animate everything okay so um, there we go so we should be able to now select our group locator which we've got and basically click and drag it and if you look on the timeline here it's added a little white tick which means it's added a keyframe so let's drag along with left hand mouse to frame 10 and we're going to move along uh, to about say about there add a new keyframe and we'll just go yeah that's all cool right and then we'll go to frame 20 and we'll have another keyframe we'll just go um, over here and drag it to sort of there-ish how about there okay so now we get basically it moves along here and it moves along here okay so we've got an item moving now we can do some deforming so what we need to now go down to is the vortex effector so on frame 0 I'm going to go to where it says twist and add a 90 degree twist Okay, then I'm going to go and drag up to frame 10. I'm going to untwist it, just wipe over this and hit 0 and hit enter. That untwists it. And then at frame 20, I'm then going to add a taper. So go to taper per unit and just click and drag on this and just let it taper it down to it looks sort of cool. The only thing I need to do now is it's only got, um, I need to go back to frame 10 to then say it's on 0 now zero and what we should have there we go so it tapers it detapers and then it retwists exactly what you want I've got a cat meowing in the background don't know why um yeah there you go okay so that's how you do it in modo uh the only sort of thing you have to really think of is just putting your vortex effector inside the group that's the only thing that i had to really work out other than that it's really easy and just show you as a comparison over in Max, same idea. Uh, press Auto key, go to frame 10, 
we'll just move it over to there, go to frame 20, move it over to there. So we've got the same sort of thing happening, yeah. Uh, we need to put some deformers on, so let's switch auto key off for a second. Let's put a taper on, da 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 da. I should put a twist on first, then we'll put a taper on somewhere. Where's taper? There we go. So auto key's all cool. Let's go to twist, and we'll put 90. There we go, got a 90 degree twist. And we're going to go to uh, 10, I'm going to right hand click on the spinners, set it to 0. I'm going to go to frame 20, and I'm going to go to taper. I'm just going to go and taper it down. <coughs> and you've got an added thing in match, you can have a little bit of a curve on it, so that's quite nice. But we just need to go back to frame 10, yeah, and just zero that out to kill those keyframes so it starts from there. So we've got a taper, and then we've got a th uh, sorry, got a twist, and then we've got a taper. So we end up with the same idea. So there you go, you, you can do stuff like what Max has got inside Modo with a modifier, with an animatable modifier it's not that much different is it? It's pretty much simple. It's probably twisted a little bit more isn't it? So let's just go to 10 just to be annoying, I've gone the wrong way, hello go to twist and we'll say uh, 180 there we go, how about that? So there you go oh there we go, we didn't auto key, let's just set a key and let's go to here. I'm just going to go and set that down to zero. And then that should go to there. Did that's all right. We're all cool now. Oh, fixed it. There we go. And there you go. So Modo or Max, same sort of thing. Same sort of idea of a gizmo. It's uh, looks a little bit different, but it's a little bit similar. You know, it's all good stuff. Um, yeah. There you go. Right. That's it. We're done. Woohoo. See you in a bit. Cheers. Bye.